Today, I will be telling you guys how to identify whether a scorpion is highly venomous or mildly venomous. So, there is one big thing that you guys can look at when trying to identify whether a scorpion is highly venomous or mildly venomous, and that is the stinger to pincer ratio. So, if a scorpion has a very thick stinger and small pincers, that usually indicates that the scorpion is highly venomous. As you can see in the photo on your screen, the scorpion clearly has a very thick stinger compared to very small pincers. Now this shows us that the scorpion is highly venomous. Now let's quickly take a look at a mildly venomous example. So for a mildly venomous scorpion, it will be the opposite way around. So a mildly venomous scorpion would usually have very big pincers and a very small stinger. Now this indicates that it is mildly venomous. Let's just quickly look at the example on the screen. You can clearly see that this scorpion has very big pincers compared to a very small stinger and that shows us that this scorpion is mildly venomous. Now something you guys can also look at is the size comparison between the two scorpions. You can clearly see that the mildly venomous scorpion is much larger in size compared to the highly venomous scorpion. So all in all, just to recap, if a scorpion has a very thick stinger compared to small pincers, it is highly venomous. And if a scorpion has very big pincers compared to a very small stinger, it is only mildly venomous. Now, just an interesting fact, the most dangerous scorpion in the whole entire world is found in the Middle East and Northern Africa and is called the Death Stalker Scorpion. It usually will not kill a healthy adult human being, but young children and elderly people should definitely seek immediate medical attention when stung. Now, if you made it this far into the video, here is just some extra footage of a scorpion catching a cricket. If you enjoy the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more rock flipping content.